in this video we will discuss the chronic penny model and this model discuss the behavior of the electron in a periodic potential so here we will assume one dimensional uh, model of a periodic potential which is as is represented in this figure and here we are uh, it re represents the potential energy of an electron in a linear array of the the positive ion is assumed to have the form of periodic array of square well with a period of you can see here this is the period a plus b and in this periodic potential we will consider that that we have two regions that this is region 1 here this and another region we have representing region uh, y2 so in the region 1 is lies between the 0 x when x is less than a and between 0 to a you can say this is region 1 and region 2 we define here which is in between minus b and 0 the value of x lies between 0 and b this is region 2 And here we are assuming that here the ions you can say this is the ion positive ion or nucleus are occupying the position here so at the in this region between 0 to a electron is assumed to be in the vicinity of ion and here in this region 1 potential energy is assumed to be here 0 whereas in the second region which is lies between the 0 to minus b and this region is lies in between these two or you can see at the middle of these two ions and here in this region the potential is not 0 what it is v is equal to v naught so here we define two regions so and here we assume that potential is v naught so in order to uh, uh, discuss this uh, behavior of the electron in this periodic potential we will make the use of Schrodinger equation so we will write the Schrodinger equation for region 1 and region 2 <coughs> for region 1 we can write this is d2 psi y d x square plus 2m on h square e into psi equal to 0 so this is the Schrodinger equation in this region and for region 2 d2 psi dx square plus 2m by h square
माइनस बी एक्स एंड हेयर वी विल एज्यूम दैट दिस क्वांटिटी एंड दिस क्वांटिटी हेयर वी विल कंसिडर दैट एल्फा यू डिनोटेड विद एल्फा स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू टू एम ई बाय एच स्क्वेयर एंड अनदर क्वांटिटी वी डिफाइन इट विद बीटा स्क्वेयर दिस इज टू एम बाय एच स्क्वेयर into v not minus e so here we define these we can replace these two quantity with the quantity alpha and beta let this equation is 1 so using alpha and beta we can rewrite the schrodinger equation d2 psi by d x square plus alpha square psi equal to 0 this is one equation for region 0 x less than a and for region 2 d2 psi d x square minus beta square psi equal to 0 this is for the region second now in order to solve these two equations we will make the use of bloch theorem we will use this theorem to solve these two equations and according to this bloch theorem we can write this define function psi x is equal to u k x e i k x say so let this is equation Two, and here in this equation, this u k x is a periodic function. Is a periodic function. Periodic function. It means that because here in this uh, uh, periodic potential we can write like this u k x must be equal to u k x a plus b so that same function because in our case we have consider that this is the period of this potential so after this a plus b it is repeating so in the same fashion here these two this is this is a periodic function so we are getting same value so if now we differentiating this uh, function say for example d psi by dx i can write this is because it is also function of x i ताकि यू कैन राइट दिस यू के एक्स इन टू ई आई के एक्स प्लस ई आई के एक्स इन टू डी यू के एक्स बाई डी डी एक्स सो इन दिस मैनर वी सिंपल दिस इज सिंपल डिफ्रेंशिएशन एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट डी टू साई by d x square i will write directly this relation so it comes out to be 
माइनस के स्क्वेर यू के एक्स ई आई के एक्स प्लस टू आर्टा के ई आई के एक्स डी यू के डी एक्स प्लस ई आई एटा के एक्स इंटू डी टू यू के वाई डी एक्स के सो इन दिस मैनर वी कैन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस ट्वाइसली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एस वी गॉट दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन नाउ वट विल डू दैट बिकॉज दिस इज द पीरियडिक फंक्शन एंड now uh because this is we have taken the second differentiation now we will substitute this function in equation this and this equation we will substitute this quantity here and in this equation so on using this Bloch theorem for region one and region two, the Schrodinger equation here. We will get uh, the uh, this the equation reduces to because here I have taken this second derivative. So if I uh, use this and equation this so this is equation number 1 in this equation so this uh, comes out to be d2 uk by dx square 2 ik duk by dx plus alpha square minus k square into u k equal to zero. This is for the region one. And in second region, in the second region, if I use here, I will get here d to u k d x square plus two i k d u k y. dx minus beta square plus k square u k equal to zero. This is for the region second region. This is for the second region. And thus. solution of solution of these two equations we can write solution of above two equations is given as write this is you write this is u1 equal to a e i ta alpha minus k into x plus b e eta alpha alpha plus k into x and this is for the first region okay and for the second region i will write in term of u2 which is c e beta minus eta k 
x plus d exponential beta plus with negative sign here iota k x and this is for the and second region so these are the solution here and here what are these a b c d are the constants are the constants which can be determined from boundary conditions by using the boundary conditions so what are the boundary conditions that the this is first and this one second and now the boundary conditions what are the boundary condition that this u1 and u2 which we have considered here they must be u1 and u2 they must be continuous at these boundaries at x equal to 0 and their derivatives they are also continuous at the boundaries so these are the boundary conditions here so it means that we can write there that u1 at x equal to 0 it must be equal to u2 x equal to 0 this is one boundary condition <coughs> and another boundary condition is that derivative du1 dx at x equal to 0 must be equal to du2 dx at x equal to 0 and another set of boundary condition is at x equal to a u1 x is equal to a must be equal to u2 minus b and its derivative du1 dx x equal to a derivative must be equal to du2 dx at x is equal to minus b so these all are the set of boundary conditions we will apply these boundary conditions to these two solutions and from um, using this we will can out the values for these constant abcd so using this first boundary condition that u x equal to 0 is equal to u1 if you use this we can write this a plus b equal to c plus d because here at x equal to 0 we got here this is 1 this quantity is 1 this is 1 so we will get a plus b is equal to because at x equal to 0 x equal to 0 so this quantity is 1 so we get a plus b and this must be equal to c plus d so in this manner we got this here and another is derivative so the derivative is uh, this is another I would get here a its derivative at the alpha k minus beta b this is b alpha plus k this is equal to c this is beta minus alpha k minus d beta plus alpha k and another at, uh, at x equal to a 
these two boundary conditions were at we have used x equal to 0 x equal to 0 and another boundary condition at x equal to a and x equal to minus b so that comes out to be equal to a exponential at uh, alpha minus k into a because here we have considered b e minus eta alpha plus k into a this must be equal to c exponential uh, Uh, minus beta i k into b because this x equal to minus b uh, plus d exponential beta plus I take k into b and another we got here a derivative of u1 iota alpha k exponential iota alpha minus k a minus b Iota alpha plus k exponential minus iota alpha plus k a this is equal to c beta minus eta k e minus beta minus eta k into b minus d beta plus eta k into exponential beta plus eta k so in this manner we got here all these three uh, these equations and a non-zero solution of the now we got here these four equations by using the boundary conditions so a non-zero solution to these equations exist only if the determinant if the determinant of the coefficients of a, B, C and D vanish vanish only in that case so so we will write the determinant by using the coefficient of a e and b from these four equations so 
this is comes out to be here one 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 alpha alpha k minus alpha alpha plus k beta minus alpha k beta this is minus beta plus alpha k and third from third equation the coefficients are exponentially alpha alpha minus k into a exponential minus alpha alpha plus k into a into exponential minus beta minus beta minus alpha k into b minus uh, exponential beta plus alpha k into b and from this we got here alpha alpha minus k into exponential alpha alpha minus k into a. so in similar manner we can write all these two and value of this determinant you can write all these coefficient from here i have written here this value so you can write this parameter and these all parameter here in this so on solving this determinant the above determinant we get i will write directly the value of this above determinant that comes out to be that is equal to beta square plus alpha square by 2 beta alpha sin hyperbolic beta v sin hyperbolic alpha a plus cos hyperbolic beta v cos hyperbolic alpha a this is equal to cos k alpha plus no a plus b so this is the value of this determinant in solving the term we get this value so in order to simplify this equation in order to solve this equation crony penny consider the case here that when this potential is very large that when potential is infinity and this birth b tends to zero if this is the case then we can write this b not b approaches to some finite value this is finite it means that because now if you see this if we increase this v is uh, very large and if we this consider that b is approximately equal to 0 and v is large so what will happen here we will get here in this case when Mm. when we consider v equal to 0 and potential we will consider very large 
so if you consider this is very large so and this function becomes very sharp point here appear like a line it appears like a line in this case when v is infinity and v approaches to zero in that case this becomes a a line look like a line we will call this type of behavior is look like delta function that is impulsive behavior you can say delta function because it, it will appear only at a single point and area under this curve is comes out to be unity or the if it uh, behave like a delta function so this is the becomes a delta function and here you can say if we consider the case here so here we get the series of this because b is zero so here series of in this case series of uh, uh, potentials sharp lines huh? series of infinite potential value you can say potential value becomes infinite here so in this case we got the we got you can say we got a series of series of of wells simply are separated by by infinitely thin barrier and we can consider this quantity that say limit b not b is barrier strength but only for the case when we will consider b not is infinity and b tends to zero and if we considering this case here so the function because as b approaches to zero so we can write here the the term this sign hyperbolic beta b say that is equation number 2 this is equation 2 we can write sin hyperbolic uh, beta b is equal to beta b and we can write cos hyperbolic beta b is equal to 1 for the case when b is 0 so the and we know in the equation 1 here we have consider alpha and beta and from here from equation 1 and we here we use this in equation 2 that alpha square plus beta square i can write this is equal to 2 beta alpha is equal to comes out to be 2 n v not into 2 beta alpha h square or i will write this m v not alpha uh, beta h square to to get, get cancel so using this we got this type of so we will use because in here we same similar term here in equation number 2 so we will replace this quantity 
by this m not v so this equation 2 becomes now 2 becomes m v not alpha beta h square uh, and we have used this condition here b tends to 0 beta v sine hyperbolic alpha a plus cos hyperbolic alpha a and cos hyperbolic beta uh, b comes out to be 1 this comes out to be cos k a so this we got this type of equation or I will write finally by beta beta get cancelled here m v naught h square alpha b not uh, b s yes, b sine hyperbolic alpha a plus cos hyperbolic alpha a is equal to cos k a so here we will define one more quantity we will define here quantity p is equal to which is equal to m v naught v by h square into here a so this is we define the quantity here and here we have this term v naught v and this v naught v is a measure of the potential variable this v naught b is a measure of measure of the potential variable potential variable because now here we, if we consider the case that the this increasing p has the physical meaning of winding of an electron more strongly to a particular potential well so i can using this quantity here i will rewrite this equation here by replacing this quantity with and the quantity p right here p by alpha a into sine of alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos of k so this is the another equation we are using this so now if we plot this quantity we plot here this quantity as a function of alpha a so we got this type of curve here and we know that is cosine has the uh, maximum values between this cos k has maximum value plus 1 and another value minimum value is minus 1 so if we plot this we will get this type of curve here and this is plus 1 here this is 0 and here plus 1 value here is minus 1 value and here this is along y axis we have plot this quantity and along x axis this is alpha and this is at origin ok 
so what is uh, the physical significance here because uh, we want to find out the value of alpha which satisfy this equation so in order to find the values of alpha find the values of alpha which satisfy above equation this equation so this is the graphical solution for this equation so from here uh uh the this left hand side the left hand side of this equation should uh, assume only those values only those values of alpha i for which for which its values lies between plus 1 and minus 1 so the that those values or such values of alpha a you can say therefore represent the wave like solution wave like solutions of see this is the uh, equation number we have like solution of equation 2 so this and r allowed and other values of alpha a are not allowed are not allowed so here if you see this so if we plot here the region if you see this if you plot here the values are plus 1 and minus 1 here so the region here if you i will extend this region here here this region and here is this region shaded region these the values of alpha a represent the wave like solution and only these values are allowed here whereas the values of here in this region where the the value of this quantity is more than plus 1 and in this remote uh, 
greater than uh, less than this minus 1 in this region they are not allowed or here you can say from these uh, shaded region that here that electrons possess the energies within the bands in this case whereas in this case no energy that there is the electron processes thus energies within the certain bands whereas no energy outside the band in this region so here we will now consider another case here or you can say this will not satisfy here for the case of the electron here now we will consider here the uh, another case the parameter which we have considered that p if we consider that for example case 1 if p is very large or you can say that p approaches to infinity so what will happen that if p is large this will reflect that this curve becomes very steep so if this becomes very steep what will happen that this region they becomes narrow and narrow or you can see the slope in this region that becomes if p becomes large we can say this is becomes very large so it becomes large here you will get here this so this region will get reduced for the large values or here you can say this region becomes narrow in this case or you will get here we can say that shaded regions becomes narrow and you can say here the we will get here line spectrum you can say line spectrum and the solution of this equation for when p is very large the solution of this equation solution of this equation becomes uh, we get only solution when sine of alpha a comes out to be equal to 0 or we can write this alpha a is equal to n pi this will represent and we know that alpha is 2 m e upon h square and root a is equal to n pi or here we can write this e is equal to n square pi square h square by 2 m e square so you can say that which may be recognized as the energy levels of an electron in a potential well of width b simple case potential particle in a box like and this shows that electrons are independent of each other and each one is confined to one atom by an infinite potential barrier ok so this is the case here when we consider p0 when p will become very large our spectrum becomes related into the uh, line spectrum and in another case when we consider the case 2 when p is 0 so in that case p is 0 I can write this from the in this equation comes out reduces to cos alpha a is equal to cos k and I will write alpha a is equal to k a or we can write this alpha is equal to 
Okay. And if we substitute the value of k alpha, like we got here, k is equal to 2m e by h square and root. Okay. And from here we get if you rearrange this e is equal to h square k square by 2m. This is equal to p square. This comes momentum 2m p square or 2m. And this expression represent the energy of a free particle free electron here and if we plot the this energy versus k plot here k here we plot energy we get parabola type curve here in this case so this is the case when p is 0 and p is infinity and uh, cubic case consider the another case uh, when the uh, allowed values of cos k now we will case another case case 3 third case when the allowed values of cos k a r from 1 to minus 1 so here I write cos k a is equal to plus minus 1 or I can write k a is equal to n pi and the n is 1 to 3 or I can write k is equal to n pi by a so this k have we can change is equal to so this represent that uh, discontinuities continuities in energy occurs when k has values pi by a to pi by plus minus plus minus 2 pi by a plus minus 3 pi by a like this so here we have plotted this energy versus k plot so this is that at pi by a and 2 pi by a there are the discontinuity in the energy values so this is reflecting the case here when the allowed values of cos k a are lies between plus 1 to minus 1 so and discontinuities are existing at pi by a to pi by a. and this region we will call this energy band and this is the energy gap this region is energy gap and again this is energy band this is band and this is energy gap so and in this along this from minus pi by a minus 2 pi by a we got the similar type of curve like this and here you if you extrapolate this curve mm, so we got the same type of gain here so this is representing the case of uh, third case and this is all about the chronic pani metal for a periodic potential of the electron